Hello and welcome back to Jody Lewis Creations. Thank you for joining me today. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for sticking with me. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. I hope that you will enjoy being on the journey with me. In this episode, we're going to be continuing to work on the folio spot for my retreat at the end of the month, at the end of March. Today is March 16th, and um, you'll notice throughout the next couple of weeks that um, I'll be posting kind of random things between the gift bag journal and the um, start of the folio. So by the time you see this, it will be well into April. So uh, bear with me. I'm filming so that I've got footage for April. You guys um, said you wanted to see the uh, process with this folio as well. It is um, um, coming along. I love the blue. I'm having fun with that. I've gotten some pages put together for my signatures. There are, I believe, six, one, two, three, four, five, six pages in each. So I will have 12, this will be 12 pages. And um, so that's just gonna fit in here like with the other one, okay? And again, we've got some changes that I did to this folio base versus the Tim Holtz one I did as my prototype. And that's okay. You know, there's so many options with these file folder folios that, I mean, the options are endless and I'm having to rein myself in and not be making a lot of changes because I'm like, oh, I could do this or oh, I could do that. But I'm not. I'm sticking with what I've got. Also, I'm using this Graphics 45 paper pen. I knew this is what I was going to be using when I made the prototype and I don't know. I believe I told you guys I was using an 8x8 pad and this is the Blossom from Graphic 45. This was on clearance on the Graphic 45 website. So I grab that and the theme for the folio swap is basically summer related with lots of variations of things to use but I chose to go with this paper pad hoping that it's going to inspire me to push myself so um, yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these pieces trimmed and cut and on my base how I want them okay and that's tedious and it will take me a while so you don't have to cut each piece and, you know, trim around all the folder shapes. And so it just takes a little bit of time to do that. And because this is dark paper, it might take me a little longer to try to find my pencil marks and stuff. So I'm not going to bore you with that. I do want to show you I did a happy accident with my tab punch board. Um, so I will probably show you how to do that in a video maybe that I can post between now and the time this airs to try to get you guys some content to watch. I don't want to force content, not by any means. Um, this afternoon, I believe it's supposed to be nice and I'm still recovering from my CT scan yesterday. I do have to give an, an addendum. I had said that the pre-med kept me from reacting to the dye. Well, the pre-med wore off and my body started raging trying to get the dye out. And um, never knew my kidneys could hurt so bad, but today they're quite painful. So I'm trying to just drink a ton of water. I feel like I've drank as much water as Lake Erie holds today. And just trying to get that flushed out for some relief. But gratefully, the, the rashiness I've gotten under control with Benadryl. So just wanted to give that update and uh, go from there. Anyway, so what I have in the folio base is I've got an Artie Mays Digital that I had sent out to print for my girlfriend's uh, birthday journal. And I got a lot of prints of this. Um, I don't know what happened with my order. It was a big thing around Christmas and I couldn't get it squared away with them. So I have lots of prints of the blue. So fortunately the blue works with this Graphics 45 pad. And so I'm gonna kind of make blue as my base. I'll have pinks and yellows incorporated, maybe some greens, but it's gonna be blues, pinks, yellows mostly because I feel like those are the colors that are uh, most prominent in here. Um, even though it looks like a lot of green, but I'm pulling the blues and pinks and yellows out of it. Okay, so that being said, I'm just gonna continue to work on this. I just wanted to kind of give you an intro to this video and see where we are. And um, yeah, so I'll start getting the bases cut and um, go from there. So I'll be back. Oh my goodness, guys. I just have to pop back on and tell you, I am in love. Look how beautiful. The blue is definitely pulling 
And this is just gonna be so pretty when it's all done. I'm really excited. I've never worked with Graphics 45 before, and I think I already said that, but I'm like so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna keep working on this, but that is gonna be my front, and uh, loving it. So yeah, I just wanted to share. Okay, I'll be back. So I'm still working on getting all the pieces prepped. Um, I have these two sewn and stitched and this is glued and I've just got it clipped so that can dry and hold. Um, I just wanted to pop on and tell you that if you're doing this, make sure that you're keeping track of which way things go because this inadvertently got flipped this way and I glued that down and then I was panicking like, oh my gosh, I totally glued that in the wrong spot. I didn't it's okay. But do be mindful and whatever way your mind works or whatever works best for you, try to just make sure you're keeping track because I literally had a moment of panic thinking I had glued that in the wrong spot. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to continue. I'm stitching around pieces. Hopefully you can see that. I've got some blue stitching on there just for a little accent. Um, I didn't stitch this piece and I didn't on the prototype either. And and I'm only stitching like certain edges. I'm not stitching around all of them. I'm not really fussing with that curve too much. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to say, you know, be aware of your layout and what you're doing because it's really easy. And like, I have this, the way I have everything paper clipped together, it does get a little complicated um, because I'm not cutting and gluing because I did want to stitch around the pieces. I wanted to get all the pieces laid out and like this one I need to find the vellum because I like that vellum pocket that I did on the prototype so I want to do that as well. Um, anyway, there's just that. I'm just going to continue working and I'll be back. Hi, so this is Friday morning. So I didn't film it all yesterday. I had a crazy day. Um, so today is, what is today's date? I'm literally reaching in my pocket for my phone to look at the date, but I'm filming on it. Um, today's the 18th. So anyway, I didn't film at all yesterday. I didn't even get in here yesterday. Um, so I did finish getting all of my base pieces glued on and stitched. Um, hubby said I need to give it a haircut and get all these strings off, so I'll do that. So we have our pocket. Let me get a piece of paper here. So we have our pocket here. Our pocket here okay we're gonna open it up and our I moved the back pocket remember to the inside and I added another pocket so pocket there a pocket there this will flip open and our journal will get stitched in here okay and I have some papers gathered which we'll go over um, I did the vellum pocket on this one again because I really like that we have the side pocket here Okay, so that's gonna close, right? And then, rather than that back flap like I did on this one, because remember I was I'm frustrated with this, right? I flipped that to the inside, okay? And so now we have here, and I added a little pocket here, okay? This is gonna flip up. We have our belly band. And we have pocket here and our pocket here. And I stuck this in here. I do like this tag, but I don't like this topper and it's stitched on. So it's one I had in my stash of finished ephemera. So I need to decoupage another one of these napkins to some music or book page so I can fussy cut and have that because I like those colors with this. I think it goes really well. I just don't like this topper. Um, and I made this a really long time ago. But anyway, so... There's that, but okay, so then this will fold down, this will fold over, and I thought about putting a pocket here, but I don't think I want to because if I flip that up, then it's going to fall out unless I did it as a top, but I just really love this piece, and I just think that it's just a really pretty piece to have in there, you know, just to enjoy the paper because this paper is so beautiful, in my opinion. Um, anyway, so then this will close, and then on the edge here, hopefully you can see, I, first, I, I cut out a strip that has these words, harmony, serenity, calm, tranquility, and I just thought how pretty that is. And then as, you know, as this get, it'll have, be more stable once I get, you know, pieces in here. 
and get it stitched. And then on this spine, we'll do something that's gonna attach our tie to tie this. So hopefully this is going to turn out like I want it to. So very quickly, I'll go through what I have on the journal itself um, built or kind of put together my thoughts. Oops, and then I'm gonna actually end this video. And then um, in the next video, we'll work on the journal. So, okay. So what I have is this is the Artie Mays kit. And I honestly don't know if I'm repeating myself or not because I think I am when I printed this and there was a printing issue, so I have tons of these papers. But anyway, so I do need to stencil the white space. I have this little piece of painter's paper that was laying here. I, I missed stamps on it and I thought, well, I could use that for a little pocket in here. And I don't know, my little paper clip keeps falling off. And just some coffee dyed um, stationery, just coffee dyed paper. Um, this is some writ dyed blue paper that I did. Um, it's writ dye, the uh, fabric dye. So that was a lot of fun to play with that. I've done red, green, and blue now. I wanna get some purple um, and try that, but I haven't done that yet. Anyway, and then this belly band I've got here with the, the, with the lace that matches the irises, which I thought was really pretty. So I'll just clip that back on there, okay? And then flip this, I've got a little pocket here, and that's as far as I have gotten. I really haven't done anything. I was just kind of messing with it the other night. I wanna get some ephemera made for this, some ephemera bases made for this. So you may see the ephemera bases um, in videos, obviously leading up to this series. It is <laughs> kind of crazy right now. We're trying to film this, knowing I'm releasing it in a few weeks versus now. So like right now, the gift bag series is what's airing. So that'll kind of give you in, you know, a perspective of time frame um, where I am right now. So I'm gonna call this video good, it's gonna be short. Um, and then in the next video that you'll see, we'll be working on the journal. And hopefully this will come together nicely and I'm not gonna, hopefully I won't be too stressed trying to make it super perfect because I'm worried, I'm nervous. <laughs> but it's gonna be fine, it is going to be fine. All right, so I hope you're all doing wonderfully and I will see you in the next video, bye.